The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Frankfurt, Germany. Weighing in at 284 pounds, the king of old school. The killer instinct of the MMA cage is part of this competitor's DNA. Word is he was actually banned from competing in one MMA organization, but he's adjusted well to the rules of the WWE ring. He's in fight mode. Hi, willkommen beim Rückmatch. Beim letzten musste ich leider abbrechen. Und ja. Jetzt können wir weitermachen. Und ja, wünsche euch viel Spaß dabei. And his opponents, first from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa realized being friendly isn't going to get him to the top. Being loved by the WWE Universe isn't a priority. Champa cares about one thing in this world, himself. Now Champa also realized that stabbing people in the back will get you what you want in life. In his view, oh, he's not wrong. Trample the weak, hurdle the dead. This is a man who decided a long time ago that there were no lengths he wouldn't go to for success. Because Champa knows his career could end at any time and wants to make his mark and ensure his place in history. Doesn't wait for his moment, he takes it for himself. Former Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, WWE Champion, plenty of hardware to back up his success. And from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. Always on the hunt for glory. Well, sometimes AJ Styles might be deemed arrogant and also opportunistic. When you're as phenomenal as AJ Styles, there's nothing at all wrong with being confident. Uh, confidence has led him atop the pecking order. The WWE Universe continues to process the shocking developments coming out of the Royal Rumble. Nobody imagined that an opportunity to challenge for the Universal or WWE Championship would still be on the table tonight. But here we are. A triple threat match to punch a ticket to WrestleMania. It doesn't get any bigger than this, Cole. And as far as triple threats go, this has three legit contenders. Or maybe four if you count the influence of Seth Rollins. If I were Tommaso Ciampa or AJ Styles, I'd keep an especially close eye on Seth's buddy to see what he's got up his sleeve. Oh. 
vicious running knee lift. Styles has no control here. AJ's got to find a window to fight back. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Picked up. First oh, DDT. End of the road. This match grinded him down a little. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Oh, man, the neck breaker. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Oh, stiff right hand. Game over. Champa gets countered there. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, and a gut buster. And finds a counter. And landing with the double axe handle. Can he do it here? Gets the shoulder up after one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Moonsault. Seemed to be pretty easy. Ooh, harsh kick. Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. But AJ can't let this flourish. Derail. Phenomenal blitz. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal ball. AJ evades that one. Oh, yeah. Let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Nasty kick to the face. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Look out. Champa skillfully counters. Champa. He is a sight. And there's the cover. Clash back inside. And the count stops short of two. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Uh, backdrop suplex. He's back into the ring. Hoist it, Hoist it all the way up. He is truly feeling it right now. 
as well he should. Exclamation point. AJ Styles. Rights and left, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Styles is getting dominated. Here's a cut. Could be it. And he kicks out of the pit in one. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Champa showing instinct. First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. Oh! That hurt. Ah, look at this. Ah. Spinning arm breaker. Boom! Champa trying to shake the cobwebs, but it might be too late. He wants it one more time. take to keep this guy down. There's a combo of strikes. Wow. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. AJ capitalizes on that misstep. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Picked up. two other hungry competitors who were in this match. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages. Let's hear what WWE Champion Seth Rollins has to say after his little misstep on social media. His account was hacked. Part of being the Monday Night Messiah is being honest with your disciples. It's that trust, that bond that gives us strength and allows us to accomplish great things. So I'm here tonight to tell the truth about why I did what I did to show it was all for the greater good and still can be. So, I'll speak directly to our discontented brother, Messiah to man. First, let's get this out of the way. My social media account was not hacked. We did have intentions of striking you down if you chose to face me at WrestleMania. That's the truth. But full disclosure, there were other transgressions that took place before that. I told Mandy Rose that you didn't want an automatic qualifying spot in the Rumble, that you really wanted to earn it, which got you put in the 10-man qualifying match. That's the truth. And then, when you won that match, we needed another plan. So, I pulled some strings and got you the number two entry spot in the Rumble. And then, of course, we all know how that turned out and how we ended up here tonight. And all of that is the truth. So now, I've bared my soul to you and shown you everything. We can still work together. We can still do great.
great things. Win the Universal Championship at WrestleMania, and we can take over WWE like we had planned. Or you can ignore the truth, throw everything away, and take on the Monday Night Messiah and his disciples and face your destruction at our hands. Make no mistake, if you challenge us, we will finish the burial that I started. But remember, I was just trying to steer you toward the correct choice to help you succeed. And that's what I'm doing again now. But this is it. It's your last chance. Make the right decision. Honor the truth. And trust me for the greater good. Will the Royal Rumble winner listen to the Monday Night Messiah and put this all behind them? Or will he choose to take on Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? We'll find out soon enough. The WWE Universe heard from Seth Rollins earlier tonight, and we all want to know. Did his words have any impact on who you will face at WrestleMania? You might be wondering why I'm holding this shovel. You see, Seth likes to speak in metaphors and talk about all sorts of things like the greater good and embracing the truth. <laughs> so I figured I'd speak his language. Seth, you and your disciples tried to bury me, but you failed. And now? I'm going to bury you at WrestleMania. That's right. I'm not changing my mind. But you know what? Why wait until WrestleMania? I'm going to start the burial tonight by taking out your disciples in a three-on-one match. <laughs> Actually, I forgot about the shovel. Make that three-on-two. As Seth Rollins followers prepare for this three-on-one match against their former ally, you have to imagine their leader, the Monday Night Messiah, will be watching closely. With the odds heavily in their favor, Seth won't be satisfied with anything other than a convincing win. I think that's exactly what we're going to see here tonight. to start. It's no longer three on one. That shovel's an equalizer. He's taken out weeks of built up frustration after being held back by Seth and his group. He said he was going to bury Seth's followers, but I didn't know he meant it literally. I think Mustafa Ali and Austin Theory could have serious injuries. It doesn't appear that the scheduled match will take place. Seth's crew is decimated. Maybe, but it looks like Murphy still wants to fight. Poor decision on his part. This guy's out for vengeance. Nonetheless, it looks like we're now going to have a singles match. And here's a superstar that has all the tools to be... One of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person.
person to be looking to convince tonight. Then there's Murphy across the ring, a man searching for recognition. A superstar who's trying to step out of the shadows and make a name for himself. Murphy may be overshadowed at times, but make no mistake about it. Murphy's a wildly talented competitor with a chip on his shoulder and fire in his lungs. being put on Murphy here. Murphy's breaking down a bit. No, oh, not pretty. That puts a stop to Murphy. Running knee lift. Against him now. It's like a muzzle being placed on Murphy's offense. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Murphy's exposed, looking like a sitting duck right now. Four. Pushed on the shoulders. Oh. Will that keep Murphy grounded? Oh, oh no, don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, not to the belly. The barricade. Seven. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, the barricade gut first. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. This is where the rubber meets the road. Can he keep it going? Perhaps worth it now. As Seth Rollins followers prepare for this three-on-one match against their former ally, you have to imagine their leader, the Monday Night Messiah, will be watching closely. With the odds heavily in their favor, Seth won't be satisfied with anything other than a convincing win. I think that's exactly what we're going to see here tonight. From behind with that shovel. He's not waiting for the match to start. It's no longer three on one. That shovel's an equalizer. He's taken out weeks of built up frustration after being held back by Seth and his group. He said he was going to bury Seth's followers, but I didn't know he meant it literally. I think Mustafa Ali and Austin Theory could have serious injuries. It doesn't appear that the scheduled match will take place. Seth's crew is decimated. Maybe, but it looks like Murphy still wants to fight. Poor decision on his part. This guy's out for vengeance. Nonetheless, it looks like we're now going to have a singles match. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition beg for mercy. Then there's Murphy across the ring, a man searching for recognition. A superstar who's trying to step out of the shadows and make a name for himself. Murphy may be overshadowed at times, but make no mistake about it. Murphy's a wildly talented competitor with a chip on his shoulder and fire in his lungs. Murphy holds him up. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Got flipped upside down there. Murphy can't find a foothold in this match. Any chance for Murphy's offense is being trampled. Snapman could set something else up. Oh, 
Solid kick across the back. Kick right on the ear connects. Oh. Running knee lift. Looking to take flight here. Flying. Misses. Discouraging spot. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Into the lariat. Murphy's exposed. Looking like a sitting duck right now. And I think we just might see. Perfectly executed. That might end Murphy's chances. Double axe handle. Being put on Murphy here. It's like a muzzle's being placed on Murphy's offense. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Just punishing their opponent. Exclamation point. Murphy was ready for that. Hoist it up. Torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. A single leg camel clutch and a great count. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Control. Double axe handle. Body center take down into the cover. One, two, three. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, the king of old school. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. We are about to see something good.
Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. The challenger looking determined. He will need the performance of a lifetime to become champion. Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. The Messiah in his kingdom. Seth Rollins at the showcase of the Immortals. Michael, you of all people have to remember the heist of the century when Rollins cashed in his money in the bank at WrestleMania 31. He'd go on to defeat Triple H at WrestleMania 33, but the highlights don't stop there, Byron. No, Rollins won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 34 won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35, and Rollins is guaranteed to perform another WrestleMania miracle tonight. Introducing the challenger from Frankfurt, Germany, weighing in at 284 pounds, the King of And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Seth Rollins! The stakes could not be any higher. It is time for our WWE Championship match. Superstar, who some have called the Gravedigger, yeah. due to his vicious pledge to bury Seth Rollins once and for all in tonight's no DQ WWE Championship match. One of WWE's most fearsome alliances has been shattered by the quest for this WWE Championship, Michael. You have to wonder how those betrayals will affect the outcome of one of the most personal WrestleMania main events we've seen. Oh, hi! <laughs> Head kick connects. Firm control. Climbing up to the top now. Oh my God. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Producing a trampling. Face crusher. Just a step too slow. Bang! Vicious boot. Oh! The champ getting put on the back foot here. Oh my god, 
and a spine. That'll make your legs go numb. That takes them down. Going for a pin for the championship. Look at this. Curious decision there, Michael. Desperately needs to figure this out. This can't be how Rollins envisioned his night going. He's one step ahead there. And Rollins finally able to keep that string of offense in check. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. It's not suplex. And landing with the double axe handle. Just like that, Rollins dodges. Hook them up. Side. Yeah, this flurry's proven to be. Hold on, it's Seth Rollins' disciples. Well, last we knew, they weren't medically cleared to be here. Looks like they're going to get revenge for what was done to them on Raw with that shovel. Never underestimate the Monday Night Messiah. We should have known he wasn't going into this match without a backup plan. I know there's been a lot of turmoil between these men, and this is no disqualification, but this is WrestleMania. It's not supposed to end like this. This is going to get ugly. I can't watch. What the hell? What just happened? He hit Seth with the stomp. Could this be it? He's done it. After a shocking turn of events where former allies turned enemies became allies again, Seth Rollins has been dethroned, and we have a new WWE Champion. And more than a new champion, it looks like we have a new alliance with a new leader. I think we just saw the birth of a new Monday Night Messiah. And Seth Rollins can't believe it. He thought he had the match and his WWE Championship secured, but that was not the case. The new champion set out to bury him, and that is exactly what he just did. This is a WrestleMania moment that will be remembered for a very long time. I'm in shock. Wow, uh, congrats to the new champion, I guess.